Good morning, Modern says. 36 degrees out this morning, and it's not supposed to rain until after lunchtime. So we have time to move New York City. Moose is saying, let me out. Look at the ice. This will be the last move in the pasture before winter sets in and we'll move them up to the greenhouse. But I wanted to get them on fresh grass one more time before we get snow. What did you girls think about the move? Huh? You ready to come out now? They love being moved to fresh grass. Want some grain? The hose is frozen up. Hopefully later today it'll defrost. I wonder if Andy and his gang want back into New York City now that the pigs are gone. They're curious of them. Andy used to be in New York City, but Andy and Moose didn't get along. So Andy flew the coop. We have a Novagen chicken here, and those three chickens are Easter egg layers. When they were baby chicks, I had them in one of the chicken tractors. 
They escaped one day when I opened the top, they flew out. Ever since then, they've been free ranging around the property and they're doing great. Everybody keeps asking where are they from? What do I plan on doing with them? I'm just letting them do their thing and see what happens. They're really good birds, they're healthy. They've sat on a few clutches of eggs and have hatched baby chicks for us. So we're just gonna see what they do. Moose. Yesterday we started working in this area some more. We cut down some brush and some bigger trees and today I want to start pulling up some of the stumps.
Well, hopefully we didn't damage the roots of this maple tree and that tree will survive. Well, this is as far as we can go today. It started to rain anyways, but Olivia had an orthodontist appointment this morning. Gina took her to that. And now I gotta go pick her up from school and bring her to a dentist appointment. We're starting to get it cleaned up in here pretty well though. A little bit over there and then we can start getting some more trees down and get this brush cleared up. The goats are like, I'm so glad it stopped raining out. You can put your egg basket right there for now. Fluffy. She nice and fluffy. Yes. Fluffy. Some hay. Oh, Willow. Hello, it's not milking time. You know it's not milking time. Come on. Look at some hay. Girls Look. want your hay. You want something to chew on. Wait, spread it out for you. Hey, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! This ain't no way. We don't want to watch out, we want some hay. Hey! Did she get you? Yeah, she got the camera. <laughs> oh, lost in the way. That's all they want to do is eat their hay. And they never touch their ball. Nope. They don't use their ball. I do though. Feels weird walking by here with no fence. And no pigs. And no pigs, yeah. Do you miss the pigs? Yeah. Yeah, kinda. You look forward to getting some new ones come springtime? Some baby piglets? Yeah. Why do you miss the pigs? Aww. Are you sad? Just a little bit. A little bit? You'll feel better when you eat some bacon? Yeah. How long have you were ready to smoke the bacon? I think in a couple of days me and you will cure the bacon. Yeah. And then we'll smoke it probably next week. When mom's gone this weekend, I when mom's gone, we'll cure the bacon. Because I want bacon. You want bacon? You ladies like your new area? All that fresh grass. Okay, it's, off. it's off. Now we gotta find a place we can get over the fence. Yeah. I think right there's your best spot. <laughs> There you go. Woo! Let's go. Lots of eggs though. Fourteen eggs, holy moly. You said fourteen. So a dozen and two. Yep. When we end up moving New York City for the winter time, I'll put it on the back side of the greenhouse and then all the chickens will be in here for the winter. I wanted to put the mother hens and the chicks in here first so that way 
they'll know that this is their home. <laughs> they all know to stay away from that broody hen. Oh, she's a part silky and Rhode Island red mix. You're not very nice, are you? What are you guys up to, huh? You up to anything? Looks good. Oh yeah. She's reheated. Sounds like it's raining out pretty good, don't it? Aren't you glad we already did the goats and the chickens? Yeah. You'd be getting wet right now. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Smells good. Got some beets. Speaking of beets, we have to put our own beets in the refrigerator. Yeah, they eat them like that. Those are good. The beets that we're trying tonight with dinner are the ones that we made about a week ago. I'll put a link to the video right here for that. Man, those beets came out so good. We wanted to thank our friend Ann who gave us the beets again. Thank you, Ann. And we wanted to thank everybody who's been supporting our channel and watching it with us. We just appreciate you guys, all of you guys, coming along on our journey with us as we build our farm here at Lumna Acres and continue on with our modern homesteading adventure. We'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.